。OK， 我们刚刚的课文提到就是有关 so far， 就是目前他们把希望把这个希望呢寄托在这个漂浮房屋上哦。嗯哼。And next, the article says Waterbirds' 75 homes house about 1,000 wow. people and stay afloat with the help of large blocks of hollow concrete. So、wow. we see here. The house is used as a verb here. So house、mm -hmm. is used as a verb. As a verb, when you house something, it means you provide them a space or you have, or provide them an accommodation. Okay, so we're going to look at what its use is. It's so great. He says Waterbirds' 75 homes provide space for about 1,000 people to stay and live, and they use large concrete blocks to maintain the floating state. 这里我们看到的 house， 注意它是当做动词来用，表示为什么提供住处这样的意思哦。Yes, so this、um, city Waterbury provides homes for many people,、mm -hmm. and how does it happen, or how do they have all these floating homes? Well,、mm -hmm. they use large hollow blocks、mm -hmm. of concrete. So concrete is a mixture of like rock and water, and becomes really hard.、Mm -hmm. But when you have a full block of concrete,、yeah. it's It's really heavy. You're gonna sink. So what they do is they hollow it out. So when、hmm. something is hollow, it means it has a hole in the middle or space inside. So the outside may look solid, but in the middle there is a hole or a space there. And since it's hollow, the concrete can now float, but also provide support. How smart. Okay. Yeah. Hollow is 就是空心的意思哦，但是它的相反词就是实心的，就是 solid。因为我每次都会想到，就是像是吃那个 Easter eggs，、ah, 有一些呢就是 hollow， 那就是像是 chocolate egg shell， 它一定就是空心的那种蛋壳，像 Kinder Surprise，、oh, yeah, 它里面 they have to like you know put toys inside。那或者是有一些有 solid like tiny Easter eggs， 有实心的，所以这我就会想到这个来做比喻。Yeah,、mm -hmm. that's true. Uh, next. The article then says、mm -hmm. the project has been a success、wow. and has attracted international attention. Hmm, I I I I can see why. This、yeah. project has been a success and has attracted international attention. Hmm, I I I I can see why. This project has been a success and has attracted international attention. Hmm, I I I I I can see why. This project has been a success and has attracted international Waterbirds architects have been contacted about building similar communities in the UK, Singapore, and South Korea.、Mm -hmm. So, what is an architect, or who is an architect? <laughs> It's basically a person who designs and makes buildings. That's really cool. Hmm, they're so smart. Okay, Waterbird 的建筑师呢被接洽到英国，然后新加坡还有这个南韩盖类似的社区。这里我们看到 architect， 他们是什么人呢？当然就是建筑师。不过要注意哦，它其中的 ch 的发音是发 k 的音、嗯、，architect， 而且像是念建筑啊，也是 architecture。Mm, Again, it's not Archie's name. Yes, it's not Archie's name. Yes, it's not Archie's name. All right, so good. Next in the article, it says perhaps one day we'll even have floating cities as we prepare for a changing world. Wow.、Hmm. Actually,、Aww. I think that's a really smart thing to do、mm -hmm. because, again, if we are dealing with、mm -hmm. global warming, what's going to happen to land in、that's、our traditional、so、homes? That's true. Okay. 对呀、啊，其实当我们呃、uh, 为这个不断变化的世界做准备的时候呢，说不定某天呢，嗯，就会开始出现一些漂浮的城市哦。这里我们提到的 prepare for something 就是为什么做好准备，或是做准备。像是呢，哎，如果有人来你的家，你想说啊，惨了，你可能没有时间要去做准备，你就可以这么说啦。We don't have much more time to prepare for their arrival. Oops. Yeah. So don't come last minute. You have to call me, Tiffany. I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm just prepared. Anyways, um, you were right about that. I think in the future a lot of things are going to change, so we have to get ready and prepare. Hmm. Okay. 好啦 ，OK，That's、okay, the end of today's article. Let's now go to our for you chat.